In this video, we'll see how to determine whether an op amp is in positive or negative feedback when both its input terminals are connected to a feedback loop. Usually, in a resistive feedback op amp circuit, if the output of the op amp is fed back to the inverting terminal of the op amp, we assume it is negative feedback. However, when the output is fed back to both the terminals, it is not so clear whether the op amp is in negative or positive feedback. The solution to this is actually quite simple. Whichever feedback dominates is the winner. Hence, we find out the feedback factors for both the positive and negative terminal. If the feedback factor for the positive terminal is greater, it is positive feedback. If the feedback factor for the negative terminal is greater, it's negative feedback. We demonstrate this with the following example. All resistors shown in the figure are of the same value of 10 kilo ohms. To find out the feedback factors, we turn off all independent sources. Hence, we open circuit the current source and short circuit the voltage source. Our circuit reduces to this. Let's find the feedback factor for the negative terminal first. No current can flow through R1. As no current flows through the inputs of the op amp, the current through R2 is zero, and V- minus is equal to V out. Hence, the feedback factor V- minus upon V out is 1. For the positive terminal, R3 and R4 form a resistor divider circuit. Hence, V plus upon V out will be R3 upon R3 plus R4 or 1 by 2. Hence, the negative feedback factor is greater than the positive feedback factor. That means this circuit is in negative feedback. Let's switch the current source and voltage source. After shorting the voltage source and open circuiting the current source, we get the following circuit. In this case R1, and R2 from a resistor divider circuit. Hence, V- by V out is equal to R1 upon R1 plus R2 or half. As no current flows through the input terminals of the op amp, no current can flow through R3 and R4. Hence, V out is equal to V+, plus, or V plus by V out is 1. Hence, the positive feedback factor dominates and the circuit is in positive feedback. To summarize, if both input terminals have a feedback path, we first turn off all independent sources. That means, replacing voltage sources with a short circuit and replacing current sources with an open circuit. Then, we find the feedback factors of both the positive and negative terminals. If the feedback factor of the negative terminal dominates, it is negative feedback, which means we can use the virtual ground condition. If the feedback factor of the positive terminal dominates, it is positive feedback. In this case, the virtual ground condition is no longer valid and we will have saturated outputs. That's all for this video. If you have any questions, ask in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.